Hello my friends, it's Danny, and today I'm showing you how to make my taco stuffed zucchini boats. Now, a few years back, I shared another zucchini boat recipe with you, and since then it's become one of the most popular recipes on my website, so I thought it was time that I shared a new version. Now, zucchini boats are a fantastic family meal, and they're also great for meal prep, because you can make a nice big tray of them and then reheat them throughout the week. They hold up really well. And what I love about this dish is that you get plenty of protein and lots and lots of vegetables. So not only is it delicious and satisfying, but it's super nutritious as well. So I'm gonna start by prepping my zucchini. I have four medium to large size zucchini here, and I'm just gonna start by trimming off the top and the bottom of the zucchini, and then lay them down and slice them in half lengthwise. Then what I do is scoop out the center of the zucchini, doing my best to leave about a quarter inch of thickness all around the sides and the bottom. And I find the easiest way to do this is to use a little spoon, just because it's really easy to manage. So you're just gonna scoop it right out, it comes out pretty easily, and then put what you scooped out on the side. Don't throw it away, because we're gonna use that in the recipe as well. So this is what it should look like when you've got your zucchini boat all scooped out and ready to go. And you're just gonna repeat that until you've worked through all the zucchini. Then I'm just gonna transfer them into a nice large baking dish. Now, before I get them in there, I like to lay a little bit of salsa on the bottom of the dish. This is gonna help to um, steam the zucchini and ensure that they're nice and tender. Personally, I love a chipotle salsa. It's got a little bit of heat and a nice smoky flavor, but you can use any type of salsa that you love. Then just lay the zucchini in the dish, and if, like myself, you need a second dish, just go ahead and grab one and pile them in as well. Once I've got all of my zucchini laid out, I'm ready to make the filling. So I've got a nice big non-stick saute pan heating up over a medium high heat. I'm gonna get a little bit of olive oil in the pan, and then a cup of chopped up onion, which is about half of a large onion, with a pinch of salt. The salt is gonna help to draw the water out of the onion, and it's gonna get it cooking a little bit faster. Now once that onion is translucent, I'm gonna push it over to one side of my pan, and I'm gonna add in the meat with a pinch of salt. So I'm using one pound of grass-fed ground beef, and I'm just gonna to start to break that down into crumbles. Now the meat that I'm using I get from a company called ButcherBox. They deliver organic grass-fed meats right to your door. So they have grass-fed beef, they have pastured chicken, and they have heritage pork, and they also have different types of fish and a lot more options these days. And what I love is that you can pick what you want, so you can customize your box, and then it comes right to your door on a monthly basis. This is a great option for anybody who's wanting to upgrade the quality of the meat that they're eating. Eating, but depending on where you live, that can be really tricky to do. So I highly recommend them. And if you're interested in learning more, I'll leave a link down in the description box below. But do keep in mind here, you could use any ground meat you prefer. If you wanted to do ground bison or ground turkey or ground chicken, all of those options would work. Once my meat is browned up and it's cooked through, I'm gonna season with a couple tablespoons of taco seasoning. Now I make this taco seasoning myself. I've shared the recipe with you all in the past before and I will link it down in the description box below if you wanna make it yourself or you could just buy it pre-made at the grocery store. Either option works. I'm gonna give that a little bit more salt and a little bit more black pepper, give it a stir, and then we're ready for the rest of the ingredients. So in goes one cup of cauliflower rice. I love the cauliflower rice because it's an easy way to add an extra veggie to the dish. If you prefer good old fashioned white rice or brown rice, both of those would work as well. Then I've got some chopped up garlic, a diced up bell pepper, and then remember that zucchini that we saved from the center of the zucchinis? Well, I gave it a rough chop and I'm adding one cup of that back into this mixture. Again, an easy way to work more veggies into the dish and to not waste food. I'll give that a nice big stir, get all of those ingredients incorporated and work together. And then the final step, I'm gonna pour some salsa on top of the veggies to help everything simmer, adds a little extra flavor and gives everything the opportunity to come together. Let that simmer for a good five to 10 minutes. Just let everything thicken up. The kitchen's gonna smell absolutely amazing. Then I shut off the heat and I'm ready to stuff my zucchini boats. So the goal here is to divide the filling as evenly as possible amongst all eight zucchini boats. It should all fit in there just perfectly, but if you had a little leftover, that could be a little chef snack. Once all your boats are stuffed and they look like this, they look delicious, they're ready to go, what I like to do is just top each one off with some shredded cheddar cheese. 
This is so delicious when they heat up the cheese melts over the top and it really just adds another layer of flavor and like delicious ooey gooey texture. If of course you don't want to do the dairy, don't worry about it. You can cook it without the cheese and then for extra richness at the end, you could add some guacamole or some diced avocado. So once you got them all set up, you're gonna cover the pans with some foil. And then if you wanted to do this ahead of time, you could do every step I just showed you right up to here. Then take this tray and leave it in the fridge for up to 24 hours. And once you're ready to bake it, or if you're ready to bake it right away, it's gonna go right into a 350 degree oven for about 25 minutes. If it were coming right out of the refrigerator, you might need to add an extra 10 minutes or so. Just make sure that everything is heated through and that the cheese is melted and that the zucchini boats are nice and tender. Once they're done, you're gonna see when you pull that foil off of the top, they're gonna to be all ooey gooey and delicious. From here, you could just plate it up, cut into your delicious zucchini boat and enjoy. Or if you wanted to store them for later, you would just transfer them into an airtight container where they will happily live in your fridge for up to five days. I love to top them with some fresh chopped cilantro and then some diced up tomatoes to add another layer of flavor and bring a little extra freshness to the dish. And I highly recommend, especially if you're doing this as a family meal, to do that right before you serve. This recipe is one of my all time favorites. It is simple, flavorful, and definitely a crowd pleaser. Thank you so much for watching. I'm super excited for you to try the recipe. And if you enjoyed the video, please take a moment to subscribe, like, and share this video with anybody else you know who wants to make healthy eating easy. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Danny Spees, and I'll see you back here next time with some more clean and deliciousness. Cheers. Then that could be a little side snack for yourself. What's the face for? 12? Not 12. It's not 12, thing. Mm. Boom, the crowd pleaser. What the? Take a moment, mom. This is so fun. I'm so excited.